Okay, welcome again to this next video uh, in our algebra series. So, we're going to be looking at this time about simplifying expressions using multiplication and division. Okay, uh, this is a easier one than the last one, I promise. Okay, so again, we're connecting the laws in algebra, uh, laws and properties for numbers to algebra now. And you'll be able to, at the end of this, simplify expressions using multiplication and division and simplify an algebraic fraction. All right. Ah, you might think, still on about fractions, Mr. Brady. What are you doing to me? Okay, and uh, at least though this time, uh, it's easier to multiply terms together than it is to add and subtract, okay? Which is at least nice, and that's similar to the way fractions worked. So remember, if we had four over three times two over seven, and we wanted to multiply this together, we just smashed them together. Smash the four thirds, smash the, the two sevenths together, and we've got four times two is eight over three times seven, 21, okay? And uh, it was sort of, you know, that's how we went about it. Uh, remember, we also had to simplify at the end, but this one doesn't get to simplify, all right? Uh, with, our, with our division, it, it had a bit of a trick to it with the flipping and stuff, I'll sort of show it anyway. Uh, if we have a fifth divided by two thirds, uh, that would be the same as a fifth multiplied by three over two, and that would get us three over 10. Now you don't have to worry about having to uh, do the fraction stuff with algebra just yet, but I want you to remember that idea that multiplying and dividing was easier because we just kind of smashed it together, all right? Okay, so just remember from a couple of uh, videos ago that there are some different ways of writing in our algebra, okay? So the first one, to remember is that we write instead of four, like I've got here, instead of four times x times y, here we write instead four xy, okay? Uh, for example, instead of six, seven xy plus two divided by three, we'd have seven xy plus two over three, okay? So that's our different ways of writing our algebra. All right, now here's our important things to remember as well. When multiplying terms together, we multiply first our numbers with numbers. We then multiply our letters, it's variables. I'm okay with you calling them letters because they are. And if it helps you to not have to say variables all the time or pronumerals, just call them letters. It's okay. Letters in maths, we sort of understand what you're meaning by that. So multiply letters with letters and then arrange your letters in alphabetical order. Okay? All right. I should probably add something else in there uh, and uh, coefficient, remember that's the number, coefficient out the front. Okay, right. Now, when dividing terms, we can cancel common factors in the numerator and denominator. So I'm going to show you how that happened in uh, our fractions first. So remember, if we had, uh, let's say, for instance, 9... Maybe go 18 over 24, okay? Now, we were able to cancel these because we found some of our highest common factors, divided them both by and that kind of stuff. But I'm gonna sort of show you another way how that worked, all right? So the highest common factor of 18 and 24 is six. And so I'm gonna break my numbers up. So 18 is the same as three times six. We know that, that's okay, yep. 24 is also the same as uh, 6 times 4. I might move the 6 over the other side. 4 times 6. Okay. Now, see this 6 times 6 over here. Remember, if I've got a fraction like that, remember the fractions from before that that 3 times 4, 3 over 4 times 6 over 6 here, uh, we could have got that by having. 3 over 4 times 6 over 6. Okay, we're just breaking the fraction apart. It's okay to do that. All right, just showing you some things that in maths it's totally okay to do. Give myself a bit more room. Uh, now, 6 over 6, so how many 6s in 6? There are 1. So, 3 over 4 times 1, anything times 1 is the same thing is equal to three over four. Now it's a lot of work and we sort of simplify this by just saying we can cancel common factors, all right? So I could have just 
gone from right here at the start. Ah, there's a six on the top and a six on the bottom and they're all just multiplied. They're all just factors. I can cancel those out, okay? Because that six divided by the six is just one. So similarly, if we have an algebraic fraction, okay? So if I had, um, let's go with seven XY divided by two X, okay? Now you might just think that looks terrifying. However, this is just seven times X times Y, and this is just two times X. And the same as how we had six over six here, and six divided by six is just one, same as X divided by X is also just one, okay? So I'm gonna write off to the side here, remember, x over x is equal to 1. So that means our x's here can cancel out and we're just left with 7y over 2. Okay, so that's for that idea about when we're dividing terms together, we cancel out our common factors in the numerator and denominator. Okay, right, let's have a look at some worked examples here. So we're going to, I'll embiggen these again. Okay, oh, that's massive. All right, cool. So, our first one here, 3x times 7yz. All right, so the first thing we do, as I said before, is multiply our numbers together. So three times seven. Three times seven is 21. Now we multiply our letters together. x times y times x times yz, all right, is just x, y, z. Done. And okay, we don't smash them together into a new letter. We just leave them as x, y, z. Okay, this next one down here. 4b times, whoop, where'd that go? Oh, okay. 4b times 6ac times 2f. So we're gonna multiply all our numbers together. Let's rearrange them first. So four times six times two. Then we've got times b times ac times f, okay? Now we can get rid of all our multiplication signs. Four times six is 24 times two is 48. So I've got 48. Now remember, we don't have any multiplication anymore. So we've got B, A, C, F, but as I said before, we like it in our alphabetical order. So 48, A, B, C, F, okay? Almost looks like a question set from uh, exercise checklist. All right, so here we go, another fraction here. It's 11 X, Y over two X, okay? So because on my fraction here, I've got to an X on the top and an X on the bottom, I can cancel those out. And I'm left with 11Y over two. Now, when you've got these algebraic fractions, you still gotta ask, what about the numbers? Can I cancel the numbers out? Well, 11 and two, both prime, so they don't have any, and they don't have any common factors, so it's, well, that are relevant, and so we're gonna leave it as 11 over two. However, this bottom example here has something for us to think about, and so I've got four ABC over 12 AC. All right, so let's have a look at our letters, right? So let's, we've got an A on the top and an A on the bottom. We've got a C on the top and a C on the bottom. So once you've worked on your letters, then rewrite it. So I've got 4B over 12, all right? Now, hopefully, that something's went gone ding, ding, ding in the back of your mind, that four and 12, I'm pretty sure I can do something with that. Well, highest common factor of four and 12 is four. So we can just go four divided by four is one, 12 divided by four is three. So we might wanna to say to ourselves, we're gonna divide by four, divide by four, and we're left with one B over 12, but we don't have the, we don't use the one anymore. So we're just gonna leave that as B over 12, okay? Now that's one of the other things you need to be careful of with your ones and your algebra is that ones and L's can start to look very similar and B's too also can start to look a lot like a six. So you just need to be very careful that you're explicit, very deliberate in the way that you write your letters in your algebra, okay? Now, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Sure, hopefully it seemed a little easier to get your mind around the last one and uh, just the best thing you can do bang, hammer out heaps of practice and you'll be awesome at it, okay? Thanks for watching.